The human brain is truly remarkable. Uh, it is the most complicated organ in our body. It not only controls our body functions, it also defines who we are. The impact of brain dysfunction on individuals can be devastating, as is evident for those afflicted with Alzheimer's disease or mental illness. Many of the brain disorders are age-related, and they are becoming more prevalent in an aging population. So why is it so difficult to find a cure for these diseases? It is because, despite the breakthroughs, we still don't know precisely how our brain functions. There are 100 billion of cells in the brain, and they communicate with each other by sending out signals. These brain cells are generated during development. They form connections with each other, uh, resulting in an intricate network. Now, every step of these processes are precisely controlled by distinct signals. So if there are defects in any of these processes, it can result in brain disorders such as autism. Now, even when the connections are formed, communication between brain cells can be disrupted by aging or by disease. As shown on this slide, the brain of Alzheimer's disease patient is reduced in both size and also function. This is because of the loss of brain cells resulting in impaired cognitive function and memory. We at uh, HKUST conduct research spanning both basic and translational. And we have made groundbreaking discoveries in understanding how the brain cells are generated and how connections are being formed. Through these discoveries, we have identified new therapeutic targets for development, and we use traditional Chinese medicine as our source, looking for activities that can target these new therapeutic targets that we have identified from our basic research. And this approach turned out to be very effective as we have identified multiple drug leads targeting neurodegenerative disorders, and they are being uh, on, at different stage of development. Now, brain research is now uh, undergoing a paradigm shift towards a more holistic and systems approach. Traditionally, uh, scientists uh, try to understand brain disorders by treating brain as a single entity. But now we know that brain disorders are multifactorial. And so we need a more multidisciplinary collaborative approach involving experts from different scientific fields and involving experts spanning basic translational, and also clinical research. Regenerative medicine is becoming an, an important area of interest. And uh, through recent breakthroughs in neural stem cell studies, we now know that this area can provide new hope for incurable brain disorders. Advances in computational science also allow us to understand the brain at a more integrated system level. Now, this multidisciplinary approach can only be embraced through collaborations and also dedicated efforts from the government, industry, and academia. This is absolutely essential. And in this context, investments from the private sector is crucial as we know the, the scale of work that is expecting us ahead. We know that currently it's estimated to have about 40 million Alzheimer's disease patients globally, which can increase to 120 million uh, by the year 2050. So the benefits of investing in brain research, I think, cannot be understated. And we know by developing effective medicine, we can improve the quality of life and also reducing the financial burden, not only on the family, but also on the society as a whole. So increasing the prevalence of brain disorders in an aging population, the lack of effective cures, the looming uh, health care crisis, I believe these are indications that tell us that supporting brain research should be the top priority for all nations. And I hope that with the improvement in technology, the move towards a more systems holistic uh, uh, approach um, I personally believe that has never been a better time or a more critical time for us to invest in brain research. 
So the question that I like to pose to you is, aging, what should be the next move in brain research? Thank you.